I'm still checking out this mic, don't know if I love it, so please bear with me as I figure that out. But hello, hi. It's been, I think, a good couple, four months since I've talked to a camera lens. And yeah, it's just been so long and I've missed this part of my creativity. I've missed documenting my art and everything, but I, it just wasn't possible for me to do that. Um, as I was in my last semester of college, I was an art major, so lots and lots of work. It was the busiest semester that I've ever ever done. Um, I do not have my matcha. One second. Okay, this is all I have left of my matcha, but I feel more or less awkward <laughs> holding something in my hands, I guess. Okay, so yeah, it's been four months and I've been working away really hard trying to finish up my degree and i did i'm graduating literally in a couple of days um, and yesterday was my last official day of college ever i hope unless i decide to do master's program or something which i am thinking about but for now we're done and i feel lots of emotions there's a lot going on but the next couple of days i really just want to rest recharge and reset and so I think that I just need time to breathe and also just get my space back in order, which is why I took out the camera. I thought it would be interesting to kind of show <laughs> me like putting away all the work that I've done this semester because I had a lot of stuff to bring home just from my ceramics class, from my painting class and just my final projects, printmaking stuff, just a lot of stuff scattered around. So. I thought that would be a cool way of sort of documenting and showing you guys sort of the work I've done this semester, but also like putting them away, kind of like, I don't know, like bringing, making space for, for new things again in my life and uh, especially for art. Like I'm really looking forward to creating again, but not for a class, not for a grade, not for anything else, but just for me. <laughs> and so I want to bring out my sketchbooks again, really just kind of play with art again. Um, even though art is literally what I do and what I studied in college and um, but it's it's different when you're just like out of that academic setting and you're just on your own I feel like there's something about art that comes to life again and just sort of um, feels more free I guess so I hope you guys have been doing well <laughs> I'm so sorry that I've been gone but I absolutely had to kind of take a step back from YouTube from social media I haven't really posted or updated things I've mostly just been trying to update you know um, sort of what I'm up to on my Instagram stories um, just like with my ceramics journey and learning to work on the wheel for the first time and doing all that stuff yeah so I don't know I bring you guys along in my little <laughs> uh, bedroom studio today and sort of kind of work I've done um, and I don't know like find space actually for a lot of the stuff that I've accumulated a lot of canvas and um, art pieces that um, I still feel like I'm still developing and there are pieces that I started that I never finished um, I think I showed you guys a couple painting footage of one of them um, and I might finish that one um, I'm not sure yet but I don't know how I should do this I <laughs> just have all my paintings around me um, and I do have one downstairs that's still drying because it's an oil um, which was interesting I did work with oil for the first time ever this semester and it was interesting um, I do like it um, and I hope to continue working in oil maybe for uh, the future because I love trying out new mediums I think I've tried out a lot of stuff and so it, yeah, it's like something fun about trying new things, but also it can be challenging too when you're not used to it. But yeah, 
Should I show you guys my paintings? <laughs> Let's go. Here she is. <laughs> um, this one is an oil and I feel like it might be a little bit blown out <laughs> on camera right now. Um, but she is, well, let me just say that I'm not perfect at painting people just yet. Um, I feel like I mostly do illustrations, more stylistic drawings of people. But for the first time this semester, I did try portraits. Uh, maybe I should call her, maybe I should title this painting Lady in Blue, because there's a lot of blue in here, as you can see. But I guess my favorite part of this painting is like her dress. This is kind of what I wanted to be the focal point of this painting. I'm very inspired by John Singer Sargent and he's excellent at painting dresses. Like I absolutely love his portraits for that reason. And so I wanted to try my hand at painting just a very like frilly, girly, flowy <laughs> dress. And um, definitely added the flowers, which is like very me. Yeah, <laughs> that is the painting and really proud of this one though. Um, I think I pushed myself out of my comfort zone and I feel like I learned a lot from it and I think I still want to develop this. I want to draw more fun dresses, more portraits like this style. Uh, but yeah, this is the first one I'll show you guys. So the next couple of paintings are paintings that I did for my senior capstone exit project type thing. Um, and three of these were in my little group show with the rest of my classmates from that class that we did. So yeah, my entire project was sort of um, my Jamaican culture, heritage and upbringing, um, as well as just focusing on Jamaican landscape and island life, things that I miss very much um, as being someone that grew up there. I wanted to explore this topic for my senior project because Right when I started this semester, I officially became a citizen. So it brought up a lot of emotions for me, a lot of things that I was thinking of, of like, you know, where is home? Is it back there in Jamaica? Or is it here now in America? And the conclusion that I sort of came to through this body of work and through exploring just like this topic was that they're both home for me. And um, I'll always be Jamaican and I'm, even though I'm now technically American and yeah, just sort of, exploring that dual identity immigration story and really wanted to just paint Jamaica, paint the landscape, paint places and things that I really loved growing up. I wanted to do a lot more with this project. I wanted to have more paintings. There are many unfinished paintings that I started but mental health wise just like having such a busy workload in all my other classes it was just impossible to do as much as I wanted to do. But that's okay because even now that I'm graduating, um, I have more time to sort of explore that deeply and more. Yeah, but I'll show you guys what I have for this project. This one is titled Blue Mountains, Jamaica, and it's a painting of the Blue Mountains, um, which is one of the largest mountain ranges in Jamaica. I hope I'm getting my facts right, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is the painting. The banana leaves sort of became a motive in this body of work, um, which I'm obsessed with painting banana leaves now, and I can't wait to do more pick paintings. Um, but yeah, this is uh, one of the first paintings I did in the series, so yeah. So this one, one of my favorites, is titled Hummingbird and Hibiscus Flowers, I think is how I titled this one, just very straightforward with my titles. But I absolutely had so much fun painting this little guy and this is my first time painting a bird. Yeah, I think I did okay. <laughs> um, it definitely looks like the hummingbird and these birds are absolutely beautiful. If you ever see one, it's just such a treat to see them. Like they move super fast. And so the very few times when I was in Jamaica that I saw the hummingbird, it was just always such a fun, like, happy moment. Um, and it is the national bird of Jamaica, so all my Jamaicans will know that. Uh, but yeah, this is this painting. This painting is of 
my favorite beach in Jamaica. Um, I always really loved going there as a kid and I can't wait to go back again. But this is Duns River Falls Beach. There's a section of the beach where the falls literally meet the shoreline and water flows right into the beach. So that's kind of what I drew here. I did want to attempt to draw the actual Duns River, which is kind of the main attraction of this resort area or park area. Um, but I attempted to draw the falls and I just was not in the right mental state back then. I was very stressed. I had a lot going on. And so I settled to do a beach scape instead and just added in, again, the part where the water from the falls does flow into the beach. And so, yeah, this is this painting. And I had a lot of fun doing the sky. It's my favorite part of any kind of landscape. And I uh, still need to work on sort of my ocean painting style. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm really glad that I still attempted to uh, paint this scene painting in the series is this one here. Wait, do I have the upside down? <laughs> this one here. <laughs> and for this one, I went for a um, sort of like beach picnic style with some fruits, some leaves hanging over, a little picnic towel or yeah, <laughs> with the like beach peeking out. Um, this one took a really long time for me to work on. Um, and I was definitely very stressed in the process, but yeah, really happy with how this one turned out still. This one I think I titled Beach Bliss because honestly, it's freezing right now in America and I would love to be on the beach in Jamaica right now, just enjoying the sunshine. Yeah, all of these are acrylic on canvas and that's sort of the conclusion of my senior exit project. Okay, I guess the next couple of works I can show you. I hope this isn't boring. <laughs> um, I'll show you guys one more beach painting that I actually did for my old painting class. Um, so yeah, this one's in oil. Um, really like this one, again, with the very expressive brushstroke uh, clouds and sky, which I really enjoy painting. And I'm not even show you guys my ceramics things. Um, should I? I? I'll pick out a couple of my favorite ceramic pieces and show you. Okay, so I guess we'll start off with this one. This was my picture. <laughs> this is like the last project we did, but it's my favorite that I done. First of all, it was the highest, highest I've ever gone, like in terms of height, because pulling was like really hard for me for the longest time. And so I'm really happy that I was able to like get to this height, which is like a huge accomplishment for me. But overall, I really love this piece. As you can see, the handle is on the, the different side. Then I didn't realize it until it came out of the kill and I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? But at the same time, I feel like it works because it sort of feels like more artistic in a way um, with, with it like this. Um, and I did, of course, like this sort of flower, this sort of like this flower uh, skirt. I don't know what you would call this um, edge um, that I really liked, enjoyed. Um, and then I actually made a lid for this. Um, hence downstairs in my studio, which I have never shown you guys my ceramic studio that I, that I built in my basement so maybe I'll take you guys down there um, but yeah I have a lid for this and hopefully I can get that fired in the future um, but this is how my little picture turned out <laughs> and then I made a couple matcha bowls or I think I made two um, and this one is my favorite one that I made it's so tiny and cute <laughs> um, yeah I still need to work on my spout it's not 100% perfect. There's still a little spilling that happens when I use it, which I did use it for the first time this morning. So yes, this is how it turned out. This is another one of my bowls. And it has a crack in here too. But yeah. And then this one. I really like how the surface turned out. I also carved some flowers in here, if you can see that very faintly. 
I love the blue slip. I wish I had done more with slip because a lot of times I liked how it, like for this, I liked the, how it turned out than like with glaze. Some of the glazes I don't like. Um, I mean, I did try to experiment with glazes, but it didn't really turn out exactly how I wanted to. That's why they sort of all look sort of this like muted gray, but it does have a pretty big crack in here. So won't be able to really use this for like liquids or anything. Um, and then right here was like a accident, um, but kind of like how not perfect it is. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's another bowl. This one is like a tiny little teacup. <laughs> um, I think it would be so cute to have like tea in this or something. This one is like one of my favorite mugs that I made with the long handle. I love mugs like this. Um, but yeah, so it's tiny, it's cute. I think tiny mugs and cups are like perfect for me because I never finish drinking anything. <laughs> like my family knows this. Like I take forever to finish drinking stuff and so I feel like having tiny amounts in this like tiny cup will help. <laughs> Another mug here. This one accidentally got attached to the kiln shelf because I didn't realize it was touching because when you put it on the surface of the table it, it actually touches. So I forgot to wipe glaze of this part, so I will try and send this down. I love this mug. It's so cute and imperfect and I don't know, I just really like imperfect mugs. Like I love when things look handmade and this one's also really tiny, you know, like shrinkage when you're doing ceramics, always have to keep that in mind. But again, I love how tiny they are. Um, it just feels like even more special and intimate and Yeah, so I love drinking out of this little sort of lopsided <laughs> Cute tiny thing. So those are all my sort of favorite or pieces from the semester Like you still